Hey there, welcome back. This is Felix from Goldhammer Vintage Watches. Today's video is not directly about a vintage watch because the Patek Philippe Gondola was introduced in the early 1990s. However, the inspiration for the line has deep roots and hides a very exciting and thrilling history that takes us back to Brazil in the 19th century. While the most watches in Patek's history books, such as the Calatrava and the Nautilus, need no further introduction, there are some more unknown models that could benefit from some investigation. The Patek Philippe Gondolo collection is the perfect example and is definitely worth a closer look. The Gondolo line was named after the famous retailer in Rio de Janeiro, Gondolo and Labrio with whom Patek enjoyed a strong and successful business relationship between 1872 and 1927. But before we jump into this topic in depth, we take a closer look into the design aesthetics of the Gondolo line. In 1993, almost a century later, Patek Philippe's partnership with the prestigious Brazilian jeweler was long gone. Nevertheless, the memory of produced wristwatches remained. So the brand debuted the official Gondolo collection, which embodies the spirit of the 20th century Art Deco style. Our today's piece, the reference 5024 from 2001, features a three-body 18K yellow gold case, the original Patek alligator strap, an 18K Patek buckle, and under the hood beats a manual wind at heart, the Patek Philippe Calibre 215 PS. Its case measures 30 mm without crown and 39 mm from lug to lug. It's also be considered to have a Sigma dial. Sigma dials refer to the Swiss text at the bottom of the dial that is flanked by two Sigma symbols. This indicates the hour markers and the hands are made of solid 18K gold. The Gondolo collection is kind of a reinterpretation of the brand's historical heritage pieces, but giving them a fresh twist. The defining characteristics are its strong lines and geometric simplicity. Most timepieces in Patek's catalogs offer a more traditional round case. However, the Gondolo collection is known for its more unusual shapes. Square, rectangular and tonneau, inspired by the original 1920s Chrono Metro Gondolo wristwatches. For those who love precious metals and enjoy perusing a variety of options, this line seems to offer something for everyone. Since timepieces are available in platinum, yellow, white and rosé gold, while the designs range from more unestated classic pieces to ornate diamond set watches with pearl embellishments. However, this collection is not only known for its charming looks. Like every Patek piece, this piece is characterized by unparalleled precision and flawless craftsmanship. So enough from our today's piece, it's time to enlighten you about the story behind the modern gondola collection. As already mentioned, the Gondolo collection was named after a famous Brazilian retailer. It was in 1872, during the economic boom in Brazil, that Carlos Gondola of Rio de Janeiro first purchased watches from Patek Philippe. Gondola, now a respected watch dealer, joined forces with Paolo Labrio in 1890 to form Gondolo and Labrio. So far, so good. A story like any other if you deal with the history of watches. But what did they do so different that they are famous around the globe? Together, they introduced a new, ingenious, no losers lottery scheme to sell Patek Philippe watches. The so called Plano de Club Patek Philippe. Customers paid for their watch through small weekly installments over a defined number of weeks with a weekly lottery draw. The weekly winner received the watch at the time of their victory at the cost of the installments made to that date. Those who remained during the program just acquired the full retail price and acquired the watch at the end of the payment period. Remember, we were in the late 19th century. It was an incredibly successful business and a marketing masterstroke. A lottery with no losers. Social networks emerged with a shared passion for watchmaking. The so called Gondolo Gangs. By the early 1920s, the Club Patek Philippe model has expanded to over 200 clubs throughout Brazil. This club selling over 22,000 Patek Philippe watches in the country. This accounted for an unbelievable one-third of Patek Philippe's worldwide sales. Sales were so spectacular that in Brazil, Patek even became the substitute for the noun watch. Instead of buying a watch, you're buying a Patek. 
even if it wasn't a product at all. Over the years, the connection resulted into the creation of timepieces, designed exclusively for the Brazilian retailer, named Chronometro Gondolo. The collection initially consisted only of pocket watches before the first wristwatches appeared in the 1920s. The Chronometro Gondolo wristwatches were more lavish than the Gondolo Chronometro pocket watches, especially during the Jazz Age, when their cases could be round, square, rectangular, tonneau shaped, or even carré cambré, which were cushion shaped. They displayed the hours, minutes, and seconds, and sometimes featured 24 hour dials or chronograph functions. The Gondolo might not be the most popular collection in Patek Philippe's watch family. Nevertheless, it's arguably one of the most unique. Although it officially became one of the brand's flagship collections only a few decades ago, the Gondolo has a rich and exciting history that gives it character, personality and appeal all of its own. So that's all. We hope you enjoyed today's video. So have a great day and hope to see you in our next one.